Welcome back mathematicians. In this Desmos tutorial, we're going to look at how to make a background for your scene. So as we left off, uh, remember we have our chef flying in from the left. We have our can of tuna, which he's going to be presenting uh, to Mr. Irvin, who's going to leap up and down for joy. But we need a background for this scene. It looks kind of bland with all of this stuff. So to, to make your scene come to life more, let's go back to Google Images. You know, just pick any any type of background you want. Let's say this is taking place in a diner. Um, I'll just take this photo, it looks pretty good. So I'll save the image as diner. Then we'll head over to Desmos again. We'll import the image diner. And voila, we have our background image. Now, as you can see, he's, the image is covering Mr. Irving it's not covering the bumblebee, uh, the uh, bumblebee tuna, and it's not covering the chef, um, but it is covering uh, Mr. Irving. So how do we make it so that it's a background that goes behind everything? And the trick is the order in which the images occur. So if you want it to be behind everything, you want to put that image right at the top. Now it's behind Mr. Irving, it's behind the tuna, and it's behind the chef. And then to make it even more of a background, you can fade it out, put it on one of those faded uh, categories, and then you can just drag it up here and, and resize it however you'd like, so it covers the whole screen. Also, you can click on the wrench and disable the grid and the axis numbers. You can also disable both axes, and now your image looks more like a scene. We watch the chef come in from the left. We watch the tuna fly to Mr. Irving. And we watch him jump up and down out of happiness. More advanced scene makers or illustrators might desire to get rid of this white space. And you can absolutely look into doing that if you'd like. You might have to use um, Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator or find one of those images from the internet with a checkerboard background. Let's see if anything shows up for Chef so I can show you what I mean. Mm -hmm. I don't seem to see any that are cropped automatically. So let's just return to our Desmos scene. And just to summarize, to add a background, you can import an image, bring it to the top of your pictures, fade it out as much as you desire, and you will have a great background for your scene. Thanks for watching this Desmos tutorial.